Hi guys, today I am going to unbox and review on Anet E10 3D printer. This was sent by Gearbest for reviewing purpose. Let's unbox the packet. Inside the box you will get a English written color printed instruction manual, a 3M sticker to stick on the print bed, two packet of PLA filaments. Now look at the bottom frame. The frame is almost assembled with the heat bed. Inside the box all the parts are nicely packed. This is the controller box which contains the power supply and the motherboard. The vertical frame is also assembled with the extruder. The power supply cable and the filament holder. You will also get a nice 3D printing removal tool. Let's see what is inside the small box. Inside the box you will get a PTFE pipe, a screwdriver, Allen key sets, spare parts for the printer, SD card, USB cable and few zip ties. The current price of the printer on Gearbest is $299.99. You can also get some discount by using the promo code. The promo code is given in my video description. Let's assemble the parts. The assembling process is pretty straightforward. First you have to align the T-nuts. Then place the vertical frame on the lower frame. Then screw the nuts on both sides. After screwing the nuts you have to screw two big nuts at the bottom. These two knots provide great stability to the entire structure. Now we have to install the heater and the thermistor. Screw the small knots on the nozzle. Then mount the fan cover. Then plug in the connector to the motors and the end stop switch. Look at the motor connector. The motors are mounted in a wrong way. When you slide the print bed, the leveling nut cap just hit the motor terminals. So you have to rotate the motor in such a way that the motor connector should be outside. Insert the PTFE pipe into the nozzle and the extruder. The filament holder is not fully metal. One part is metal and another part is 3D printed. After assembling the filament holder, Mount it on the controller box. You have to tighten the two M4 knots given in the kit.
Now insert the filament into the extruder mouth by pressing the spring loaded knob. Plug in the power cable. Before switch on the control box, be sure the voltage is set to correct level. Remove the protective layer on the back side of the sticker, then stick it on the print pad. This printer is look like a Creality CR10 3D printer, but in actual it is not at all. There are so many parts which are 3D printed. Now switch on the controller box. You can hear the fan inside the controller box is too much noisy. Before printing anything, first let's see whether it is perfectly auto home or not. Yes, the printer is perfectly working. Now it is time to print a 3D model. Go to print from the SD card. I have selected. Then press on a G code. When I press the G code, after few seconds, it shut down. I have never seen such type of incident in my experience. and it is really ridiculous it should not be expected from a 300 dollar printer you can see the level on the extruder and the x axis motor both are exchange i am going to open the controller box to see what is inside it inside the box you can see There is a big power supply. The power supply unit is rated at 12 volt and 20 ampere. And inside it, you can see the motherboard, which is very similar to the Anet A8 motherboard, and two cooling fan. One is at the back side, and another one is for cooling the motherboard. If you look into the terminal connections, it is directly connected to the power supply unit. There is no such crimping terminals. and if you closely look to the power supply connections it is directly soldered the soldering joints are also not good another sort coming of this printer is it does not come with any mosfet for heat bed so there may be chances of fire if you are working on higher temperature side apart from this as the heated bed is directly drawn power from the power supply so there may be chances of damaging of power supply also at last we should compare the anet e10 and creality cr10 if we compare the build volume the build volume of this creality cr10 is 300 cross 300 cross 400 mm but the build volume of anet e10 is 220 cross 270 cross 300 mm the second difference is creality cr10 come with pre installed mosfet for heat bed but anet e10 does not Third difference is the Creality CR10 come with bigger power supply, which is 360 watt. But for Anet E10, it is only 240 watt. The fourth difference is Creality CR10 come with a glass seat for heat bed. But for Anet E10, it come with only a 3M sticker. At last, in my view, the Anet E10 3D printer is a quite significant improvement over the past. and it series 3d printer but if we compare with creality cr10 then it cannot be comparable and it only just tried to mimic the cr10 but in reality it is lag far behind it if you are interested to buy a 3d printer now then i will definitely suggest you to buy a cr10 rather than e10 though it's cost 100 dollar more than the anet e10 i hope you have enjoyed my review video if you like this video don't forget to like and share for more diy videos and review videos please subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button thank you so much